So the AirPods Pro have been out for a little while, and uh, one of the questions that I continue to hear and I continue to get myself is, uh, w- w- should I buy the AirPods Pro or should I buy the AirPods 2? And that's, on on first glance, on first blush, you would think, well, the AirPods Pro are clearly the better headphone. They're more expensive. They have more features, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But not so fast, my friends. There are some situations in which you might want to consider the AirPods 2 instead of the AirPods Pro and vice versa. So let's just kind of walk through and do a versus one against the other. Arg! Crash, crash, crash. We're going to compare the AirPods 2 and figure out which one is best for which kind of user. Uh, they're actually two very different headphones with two very different use cases. While they are both AirPods, they are not the same in really very many ways at all. So let's let's walk through things, fit and finish, the use and the features, sound quality, and then we'll talk about the value proposition, the price difference, and, and whether or not one makes sense for you versus the other, okay? So first, let's talk about the look, the fit, the finish of them. I mean, they're, they're both incredibly well built. Uh, the cases are high quality plastic. The, the buds themselves are very, very solid. You're not going to find better quality materials or better industrial design from anywhere else. Uh, so, so yeah, these things are high quality. As with all things Apple, they, I've, I've had these AirPods 2 since the AirPods 2 came out. They are still in, in very good shape. And uh, my AirPods Pro, of course, you know, my case got eaten by my dog, but the pods themselves are great. The quality of the silicone on the ear tips is better than the quality of silicone on most other headphones that I've tried. And they also, uh, they also fit differently. Apple put a lot of thought into how these little silicone ear tips are going to fit into your ears uh they have a test they have a way to test if you got a good seal when you use them with your iphone they are both well built in terms of things that are obvious uh the airpods pro the buds themselves are smaller uh but the case is larger in part because there's a I think there are two different battery packs in here. Uh, so a little bit more battery inside the case. That makes it a little bit bigger. And also the, the shape of the AirPods probably makes it necessary. The AirPods 2, of course, um, case smaller. Uh, buds have that long stock on the end that looks even more ridiculous now that the AirPods Pro have come out than it looked before. Like I had kind of normalized it. It looked kind of okay to me until the AirPods Pro came out and then I, I I started to see people wearing both and the AirPods look silly. Um, but what about the features, the use, the use and the features of these AirPods? Well, the battery life, I mean, the battery life is relatively the same. I think you get like, you know, three and a half, four, four hours, maybe, maybe a little bit more with both. Then you've got the battery case. That's going to charge these guys up at least I have three times after the initial charge, and I have never found myself wearing the AirPods for longer than four hours. I mean, I guess if you're on an airplane or something like that, maybe that's something that you would do, or if you're, you know, studying or you're at work. But one thing that's nice about the AirPods is that they do have decent battery life, and and I and I don't think one is necessarily that much better than the other. The AirPods too fit fit in your ear they don't create a seal they they allow you to hear the uh, the outside world a little bit better uh they allow you to be a little bit more present so like when i when i had my day my day job i would wear the airpods in my ears and i could always hear if somebody was coming up to my desk or if somebody wanted to talk to me the airpods made that possible uh I wore them a lot when I when I visited New York City a while back, and it was nice to have the AirPods because I could still hear traffic, I could still hear everything that was going on around me, but I could also hear what I was what I was listening to in the AirPods. So there's there's benefits to the way the AirPods fit. The AirPods Pro, uh, well, they do create a seal. They do have active noise cancellation, which pretty much blocks out. 80% of the of the ambient sound around you and that 
is good in some situations and in other situations, maybe not so good. You know, if you just want to want to have a quiet moment, uh, then then it's good. Or if, if you're in a coffee shop and you're trying to work or you have a noisy work environment and you want some noise cancellation, these things are great for that. And using the noise cancellation doesn't seem to really impact battery life all that much. One thing that a lot of people like to do to extend the battery life of their AirPods was, uh, you know, use one in one ear and keep the other in the case. And then if that one ran out, then you put the other in the other ear. I guess this really only works if you're listening to like podcasts or audiobooks or something like that. The AirPods Pro, because of the noise cancellation and that kind of thing, and the seal that's created in the ear, I, I would think that that would be a little disorienting and not quite as comfortable having just one in. So that's something to think of if you're considering uh, using them in that way. In terms of the controls, I mean, the AirPods... I've never, I've never liked, <laughs> you got to tap them, you got to tap them and do all this other kind of stuff. I've never been able to successfully uh, execute <laughs> the controls um, on the first time. I, you know, maybe, maybe it's, it's a problem with me, but I just haven't been able to do it. The AirPods Pro, on the other hand, they have this, uh, they have this little area on the, on the, on the bottom that is uh, squeezy. So you can squeeze, and this works much, much better than what you get with the AirPods 2. Uh, so, so the controls on the AirPods Pro are better if you, you know, and, and you can toggle between ambient mode and noise canceling, and you can fast, you can go next track, you can pause, you can play, all kinds of different stuff. And, and that, that little squeezy tactile thing is much better than, than like banging on your ear. Uh, I never, I never liked that banging on the ear thing. All of this is well and good. These are both well, well appointed headphones in the features department, but what really matters is the sound quality. I can say that one, objectively, there is one of these that, where the sound quality is noticeably better at all times. I mean, I've heard other reviewers say there's no difference in the sound. I've heard other reviewers say that there's uh, only differences when you have higher quality sources with the AirPods Pro. Um, none of that is true. It's the, it, the AirPods Pro sounds significantly better in just about every way in every situation. Part of that is just due to the noise cancellation and the and the lack of bleed from the external from the external world. That's that's what makes the AirPods Pro sound better, but also the the quality of the of the drivers, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, seems to be much better as well. So objectively, the AirPods Pro sound better. That's not to say that the AirPods themselves sound bad. The AirPods too. I mean, they're not going to win any awards for sound quality. However, they sound good enough for most people. They are incredibly convenient. The way that Apple has designed these things to work in concert with Apple products to connect and all that kind of thing, it's the best in class. Nobody else is doing it better in connecting the earphones to your devices. It's easy. You pull them out, you put them in, it's connected. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. With the AirPods 2, what you're getting is good enough sound quality with incredibly convenient feature set that makes them a good value buy for people who use Apple devices. Okay. If you don't care about, <laughs> about, you know, high quality sound, or if you're somebody who, like I said, wants to have some awareness ability of the world around you while you're wearing them, the AirPods 2 are really good. Uh, if you want hi-fi sound, if you want better quality sound all around, if you want uh, more noise isolation, if, you, if they were both the same price, I would tell you, get the AirPods Pro, forget about the AirPods 2, but they're not, they're not. The AirPods Pro are $100 more expensive than the AirPods 2, and so you have to take that into consideration as well. A lot of people, I mean, $250 is a lot of money to spend on a pair of headphones. For a lot of people, maybe for most people. I, I mean, I'm not a good example because I buy headphones all the time, but that's a lot of money 
to invest. And if you if you're not going to get the same value out of it because you you know you're not looking for that feature set or you're you know the audio quality isn't so important to you, you just want something to to use. I can't recommend really going with the AirPods Pro over the AirPods 2. The AirPods 2 $100 cheaper. $150 is still a lot of money to spend on a on a headphone. I get it. But when you talk about the the feature set that you get, the ease of use and and just generally the overall quality of the AirPods, they are a a really good buy for somebody who just wants all around all purpose easy to use earbuds. So I would say unless sound quality and noise cancellation mean a lot to you and you're price conscious, then the AirPods 2, it's not like these are not the same product. They they have two different use cases. They they do different things and they have different reasons to exist. These are noise canceling headphones. These are not. Okay? Uh, and the the feature set is is wider than that, but they're not the same. Like this Pro headset is not supposed to replace the AirPods 2. It's just, they're not the same thing. Again, if you're somebody who wants something easy to use, wants, wants to be able to hear your surroundings, maybe, you know, you don't care too much about sound quality as long as it, sound, it doesn't sound terrible, uh, then the AirPods 2 are great. The AirPods Pro are measurably better in just about every way, but... As I said, you might not care about that. So you have to ask yourself. For me, it's worth it to go AirPods Pro. For you, it might be different. You just have to decide for yourself. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I mean, AirPods 2, AirPods Pro, which one would you choose and why? Is it just about cost or is it about feature set? We'll talk down in the comments below. Looking forward to that. Thanks. Thanks so much for being here and being a part of this video. I really do appreciate it. If uh, you've never been here before and you want to come back again, like, subscribe, bell, notify. If you've been here before and you are coming back another time, then eh, thank you ever so much. I really do appreciate it. This has been AirPods 2 versus AirPods Pro. Which one is right for you? My name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This has been the Painfully Honest Tech. Until the next time, I'm out.